Hello everybody, uh, my name is Reverend Anne Farmer from St Paul's Church, East Molsey. Apologies to those of you who were trying to watch our remembrance service earlier today. We had big technical problems, but we felt it was important to read the role of honour which we hold in this church on this Remembrance Sunday, the 8th of November. And so our act of remembrance. This is the will of him that sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, and I will raise them up at the last day. Let us remember before God and commend to his safekeeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of the peoples of the world. Nineteen fourteen to nineteen eighteen Arthur Barnshaw, Arthur Berry, Robert Clemenson, Archibald Clark, Montague Carpenter, Thomas Fox, Edward Finch, Archibald Griffin, <laughs> Ernest Harland, Frederick Hopkins. William Hansen, Charles Hines, Percy Kent, Harry Kent, George Locke, James Lodge, John Lincoln, James Maxwell, Richard Morrison, Alfred Peters, Howard Parks, Harold Rumble, Henry Scott, Thomas Starkey, Joseph Sage, Thomas Standen, John Schofield, William Squance, Frank Thompson, Charles Thompson, George Thompson, Walter Thompson, Harry Turner, Ernest Wealdon, Alfred Wareham, Arthur Warburton, Charles Wyatt, William Watts. 1939 to 1945, Andrew Bailey, Cameron Bailey, Dudley Baker, Frank Baysby, Bertram Bobbins, Charles Burns, Richard Collingwood, Philip Dobby, Walter Fountain, Roland Holmes, Derek Manning, John Mason, John Regan, Frederick Smith, James Stevens, Philip Stone, George Webb. 'They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so may the blessing of God, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit remain with you always. Amen.